Hello everyone. Right, um, my fort. This is the fort I made. I've put it on Facebook and uh, mentioned it in a previous video. Um, so I thought I'd just do a quick video on on it and then um, show you how I did it. So there it is in all its glory. It's, um, oh, let me move up. There's a the gatehouse. Um, it's just fairly simple. I just made it slightly modular, each with a corner, a couple of sides, um, gatehouse in the middle. Oh, don't focus. And then a thing on the back. So if I grab one of the sections, you can see it a bit better. So here we go. If I zoom out, there we go. So there we go. There's the. There's the finished thing, a bit of dry brushing um, inside. It's a fairly simple design, but I've made it slightly modular so I can um, do lots of... And then it's going to be good, I think, for any number of games from uh, Romans. I thought I could use it French Indian Wars, um, just any number of things. I sort of like the gates are movable, they're a little bit stiff, but so. And then behind, got a couple of guys on top there. If I take them off, I mean, it's by no means is it the greatest piece of modelling you will ever see. I mean, but for a wargaming thing, I think it's, um, I think it's fine. Now, and I've made, and they've got corners. So, just did them quite simply. Now, how I did it, because somebody on Facebook asked me, now, I've got enough to make another side of the fort if I want to, but I just thought to myself, you know what, it's so big, it would command too much of the table. So I've just done one end to begin with, and then we'll take it from there. So all I did, I started with this. This was the prototype. I just made it up, bit of um, two mil MDF packing, and I, I get two mil MDF so easily because I use it for packing board at, at work and then these things are my wife uses them she's got a nail business and these are I think they're cuticle pushers or orange sticks or something like this what I don't know but they come like that so perfect for sharpened stakes or what so I bought these off I think it was Amazon of all places and they come in these packs here so 100 in a pack and I've got to say I think they're about two pounds and I think for the whole of this I used four packs so what's that even it's less than a tenner less than a tenner for all of that and then all I did I cut some of my hardboard and then to make the bank, all I did, because I'm I'm a cabinet maker by trade, so it's slightly easy for me, because I thought, how am I going to do the bank? So I thought to myself, well, if I just build, if I just cut a bit of wood to make the slope, then all I do, I just glue it to the back then hide the bottom with grass growing up. So, what I ended up doing is that I've cut these guys, glued them to a bit of this, worked out my dimension, that which I'd already planned it all out. So, if I've just done a quick sketch and planned it all out. And then got these and then glued, I found hot, hot glue, a hot glue gun was the best gun to use. And then all I did 
made it easy, just did it by section by section and glued them on like that. So do 10 or so at a time, squirt a load of it in there. And then obviously made sure and then that was that was it. Sim simple as it was the simplest thing because, and I've still got plenty of this. This these are the corners. For me, it's slightly easier because all I did in my workshop, I cut a square, and then I've got like a guillotine that I cut forty five degree angles on for this. So it's very very simple for me to do that. But I'm sure anybody with any nails and a bit of a saw can do it. Or even if not, just cut it square and just fill it because it's all going to be covered with bits and pieces anyway so you're not going to see it so that's a corner and obviously do that and then after that once it's all in all I did to make the platform I made sure the platform would hold a figure so there's a Roman archer so plenty of space he's not going to fall off and then just a bit more of the MDF support which again was one of these little sticks but I just took Cut the point off, use the angle on there to give me the natural angle, job, done. So then it just supports it. And actually, and then it's just a case of a bit of a dry brush in which all I did is various browns and I made sure that I did the top, these, these points with the lighter stuff first. So if it went over it, it sort of didn't do it. And that's it. That is literally it. And actually, I think you get quite an effective castle, sorry, fort, from it. And really quite an enjoyable little project. And very inexpensive. I mean, all right, for me, buying all these bits, I didn't have to buy these. I made them these in my workshop. But what you could substitute, bit, bit of board... But then substitute this bit for a bit of styrofoam, polystyrene, anything. Um, probably, actually, the heavier the better just to counterweight the parapet on the back. And then these, tenner and a hot glue gun. You're done. So you under 20 quid you've got a fort, which I think, I mean, if you try to buy one of these, I mean... I don't know how much they cost. I mean, I, would, I dread to think how much they cost, if honestly. Um, but yeah, there you go. I mean, simple as, um, and actually, I'm really pleased with the results of it. It's, um, and it was a real pleasure to make. Really enjoyed it. So, for all those people who on Facebook who asked for, for a tutorial, well, that's about as good as my tutorials get in fairness I'll give you a quick pan round but so yeah it does it does command of quite a big area of the battlefield but you could put it to one side that's where your reserves come on or that's a scenario you've got to get back to the fort next plan is to put a few um, let me spit, go around put a few t make a few Roman tents and stuff oh yeah I made a little ladder so, yeah, it's a real and a real enjoyable project to do as well. Something completely different. And then, see, that's all the stuff you need. Not a great deal, just offcuts. And I'm sure if you wanted to use like angular wood like this, all right, I made this, but I'm sure your local hobby store, not hobby store, being um, B and Q or home base or if you're a DIY store, I, they'll have some kind of quadrant on the shelf that you could buy, and they're not expensive. But anyway, there you go, my fort. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.